Hi Scorpio, welcome to your February Singles Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, we're looking at singles. Now I am keeping this open to whatever needs to come out. It could be past, present, future. It could be someone totally new coming into your energy. Someone maybe you're just dating, getting to know, a crush. So whatever your situation may be. So with this deck here, I'm going to get an energy feel for maybe what kind of situation, what's going on for you. And keep in mind, if something shows up here you have no interest in, it's probably not your reading. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. If it does make sense to flip it, switch it around, you definitely can do that, especially cross watchers could be a reading for you. So let's see here, we have transformation and we have five and it says cycle here. So fives are about change. So let's see what is changing for you. Travel. We have another five, which is about change as well. And five and five would be 10. And that could be endings and new beginnings. Maybe some of you are traveling. You could be also getting ready to meet somebody or maybe you know somebody who travels a lot kindred partnership one new beginning here hmm. and loss too which is about partnerships unities choices decisions so i kind of feel like here you may have lost a connection in the past due to circumstances like maybe somebody was traveling or they traveled too much they were away too much or maybe it was long distance and now it's transformation, transforming for you is that I think you're getting ready here to meet a very kindred person in your path. It could be uh, maybe now you may do some traveling or going on a vacation or something like that. Some of you, if you're in a cold climate right now, maybe going to a warmer climate. So say you're going to the south or the uh, west coast, if you're on the east coast or you're going to a tropical place. This could be where you may meet somebody. And, you know, it does happen where we do meet, you know, people around our same area, even away on vacation. Crazy things do happen. Doesn't mean that someone new is going to be a long-distance relationship. But All right. Scorpio, hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know is down below, Scorpio. Uh, playlist and list of readings down below as well and I have incorporated my generals from my other channel here so they're all in one place. You're still going to get a ton of love readings, just more content here on this channel. All right, Scorpio. Let's see, singles, what's going on for you? We have the Knight of Swords in reverse, so something didn't take off. Three of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, definitely here. My deck in reverse, geez. Well, we have the Page of Swords. I'm feeling like, all right, let me get one more here. In the Five of Cups. So, King of Wands at the bottom here. So, we have a lot of people showing up here. Geez, we got the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Wands. So definitely here, something did not take off with somebody here. Three of Cups. It could have been due to a external situation or energy or person or whatever that may be. Uh, Page of Swords here. I think very brutal, honest conversations were had. And then there was definitely a loss here with the Five of Cups. So you have like three fives here. I definitely feel big, big change for you. That's why we have the transformation as well so let's see I do have here um, Aquarius we are in Aquarius season right now Sag as well as Aquarius again and we have, do have Leo on the bottom of the deck here with the King of Wands Ten of Cups you could have a fire sign coming in here Wheel of Fortune here something that's fate destined divine timing something meant to be could be with something with traveling here maybe with the Wheel of Fortune Things getting better, moving in the right direction. We have Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. A very happy energy here. High Priestess, you may not see this coming, 
sometimes I take this high priestess as maybe something you may not see coming. It's like this uh, universe is keeping it a secret from you. It's also about trusting your intuition. Also, someone maybe you've never talked to before either. Let's see. We have Pisces there. So I kind of kind of feel about the energy right now. So I don't know how long ago this happened for you. It could have been maybe three months ago um, for some of you. So I want to see here. So I definitely feel like there's somebody new coming in for the Scorpio Singles. What else do we need to know? What is transforming the Scorpio? The Five of Pentacles. So where you're feeling kind of lackluster, blah, you know, maybe a little lonely. Four of Wands, a stable, grounded energy. The Sun, the happiest card in the deck. You're about to be very happy, Scorpio, with the Sun and the Four of Wands, a very committed type of energy. Ten of Swords after an ending. And the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this is something that has not happened for you yet because the Ace of Swords is in reverse. So, but what you don't see coming here is that things are going to change for you, definitely. You have so many fives here. You have four fives, and that's 20, which would be two, which we have the two right, right here, partnerships, unities, choices, decisions. So there's definitely been an ending. Definitely a lot of healing here with the sun, but it's the happiest card in the deck. Growth, expansion, abundance, healing, love, peace, harmony, joy. Everything, everything positive with the sun. It's Leo energy. We did just have that full moon in Leo. We have the seven of cups. So feeling a little dazed and confused, are we? But the world here. Something, again, with traveling or in your travels or in your commuting, everyday commuting, whatever that may be. Or vacation whatever you're doing here this is i feel you, you're gonna meet this person here six of wands in reverse so somebody's not feeling the greatest right now king of sorts someone very truthful honest blunt direct to the point hmm. so we have kings showing up here this could be someone who is a leader a boss a business owner entrepreneur they could also work from home because we do have that four of wands there, or that could be you. Let's see, we have Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini showing up. And something is uh, getting ready to manifest here. Gemini, Virgo with the Magician. All right, so we got that page of pedicles that I just saw too, which can be about some sort of invite. So let's see, Scorpio. Scorpio, what else do we need to know? What is coming in? Who is this person? So you're going to meet them some way, somehow, um, as well. Things could get very serious by summer. Oops. Two of Cups. Well, there you go. There's your soulmate union there. The Page of... No, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is probably going to take off quick between you and this person, because the Page of Pentacles in reverse, to me, is like the Knight of swords upright which that was the first card out there hmm okay hangman pause and reflect devil in reverse so i don't see any negative uh attachments to this new person coming in which is good six of cups it could be someone you know from the past um i wasn't really feeling that i was feeling like it was somebody new um, and, and if there was someone from the past that was very, very toxic with this in reverse, I feel like you definitely let that energy go. It's behind you. Um, hangman, though, you may be a little hesitant, but I feel like you have the soulmate union here, but I feel like this could take off fairly quickly, you know, if, but if you're hesitant, it may not. That's kind of what I'm feeling with the hangman. So you may be like on the fence, like, hmm, I, I don't know about this. Or it could be them, but I'm, I'm feeling more like it's you, Scorpio. But you could switch this energy around if you need to. Uh, we do have here uh, Capricorn, Pisces, Capricorn again. But as far as the energy of this person, they're going to have a very familiar feeling. I think they're very thoughtful, caring when it comes to like family, friends with the Six of Cups energy. Um, also with the Hangman, like they're very... Um, uh, 
enlightened, but also they're very um, thoughtful of the energies around them, the people around them, and what's going on. They're not self-centered at all is kind of what I'm feeling here. Hmm, interesting. So, let's see. Hmm, the Emperor. So this is a true masculine or feminine, you know, whatever is for you. In the Chariot. This is, could be someone very, very successful. Six of Swords. This person is very positive because the Six of Swords is positive movement forward for me. In the Chariot, this very success, success-minded, balanced. Um, this is an achiever. This is someone who has accomplished a lot and very balanced. Hmm, nice. So let's see. We have Aries, Cancer. All right. So let's see. We can get more information here, like how you may meet them, a little more of a time frame, what's the energy going to be like for Scorpio, or let's see, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, so I kind of feel like here, someone's going to be a little stuck in their head, I feel like it could be you, Scorpio, but we have the Queen of Wands here, which is saying that there's going to be a lot of uh, physical attraction, that is for sure. Seven of Pentacles, though. Let's kind of take it slow. Let's not rush. Eight of Swords. Right? This could be in the next eight days because Swords are relatively fast. And this Queen of Wands is Aries, so it definitely could be... I mean, Aries season is a couple of months away, really. But um could be seven to eight weeks, maybe. M maybe for some of you days, or definitely by Aries season. Let's see. Seven of Wands and Nine of Cups. So somebody may be a little defensive on guard, have a little bit of a wall up uh, here, but actually it's wish fulfillment here. Happiness and joy with the Nine of Cups. I'm getting a very single energy as well. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles are both like my single card, singles card. So this person is going to be single. And if you want to take your time, this person will be willing to do that. Invest properly with the Seven of Pentacles here. If they have to, you know, work to break down your barriers, I think they'll invest in that. If they, you know, they're really going to feel like it's wish fulfillment here, happiness and joy. The Page of Pentacles in reverse, though. I could have sworn I just seen that upright a little while ago, unless I got my deck the wrong way. Just let me check here. Could be, I don't know, I've got to pay attention how I put the deck down, but I definitely feel like here um let's see oh, i think it was in reverse yeah so we do have the page of pentacles in six of pentacles equal give and take here here's a solid offer a drink a day let's just sit and chat very reciprocative uh, energy here king of pentacles in reverse though the hermit all right so let's see we have capricorn there so i want to see um advice and guidance for you Scorpio regarding this so if you're a little hesitant or have a barrier up or a little bit of a wall this person um, I don't think they're gonna run this is someone who's gonna run or vice versa I mean a queen wants makes it happen goes after what they want very intuitive caring nurturing giving inspirational spiritual advice for you six of wands focus on success two of swords that, um, you know, it's about making decisions with a clear mind. So you're going to clearly know here what you want. Focus on success here. Ten of Cups in reverse. So if, don't focus on the end goal, like, oh my God, you know, this person wants like the whole Ten of Cups. They want that full commitment. I don't know if I can do that. Just take it day by day here. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Ten of Wands. Don't overwhelm yourself. And the Four of Swords. A very healing energy about this as well. It's about taking our time, not rushing as well. But don't overthink or overanalyze either. Don't overwhelm yourself. If you need to take it day by day, week by week, definitely do that. You can still get to the Ten of Cups if you want to. But don't fo make that your focus that, oh my God, they want commitment. And, you know, just kind of take it as it comes here. Make sure you make decisions with a clear mind and focus on success and a positive outcome here. Knight of Cups. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> my cards are so messed up right now. I do have reversals in here, but I wasn't paying attention how I was laying the deck down. So I'm going to turn these upright. Anyway, you have the page, uh, 
Knight of Cups. So this could be, this is you, Scorpio, courting, dating, getting to know, the Hermit. And again, I kind of feel you retracting your energy maybe from time to time or vice versa. You know, maybe if you're feeling a little too overwhelmed or confused. Um, but I mean, the path is here, Two of Wands, Five of Swords. So don't sabotage this either. The star is here. It's in reverse, though, so don't lose hope. Uh, try to remain hopeful and optimistic. I mean, we still have, like, dream wish come true, but you, somebody here may not believe that. And then we have you, Scorpio, right here. And there's a transformation, which is right there. So it's a big change from what you dealt with in the past, that is for sure. So it's about accepting, believing, and releasing. It's kind of what I feel here. So that's you, Scorpio. We also have Aquarius. Let's see. Virgo and Scorpio again. We have the Page of Cups, romantic gesture, romantic offer, sincere romantic gesture and offer. So I want to do now, Scorpio, is get you some universal love cards. See what the universe has to say about this connection for you or Scorpio. Or Scorpio. This is kind of giving me, you know, the three of wands vibes, you know, when you're waiting for your ships to come in. So kind of feeling like all is lost, but it's not because you have something better coming in. So what do we need to know for Scorpio about this connection for the singles? expectancy so I, I was just talking about that how you may don't get too focused on what they're expecting or wanting you know just take it day by day miracles so yeah, believe in the impossible divine guidance so let your intuition guide you as well in universal heart so this is a deep connection here in guardian this person may um, be like in law enforcement or military or something like that, but doesn't have to be. But they're going to be very protective, but you're also being guided and you are protected as well. And, you, you know, you could have been connected through uh, maybe another lifetime as well with this universal heart. This is some, someone maybe you could have been connected to in this lifetime and not even know it because you've never met them either. But I feel like with divine guidance and guardian here, this is being divinely guided as well. Because it is a kindred partnership. So I definitely feel like the divine is guiding you towards this very kindred uh, person here as well. All right, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you. So again, everything below that you need. Playlist, list of readings I do here. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.